This tool is one of the simplest, um, but one of the most effective and one of my most favorites that I've used as a teacher. Um, too often, you know, kids are glued to their cell phones, so are parents, and so, you know, it's one of those sayings of, um, might as well join them. Uh, so, it is the best way that I've found to communicate with kids and parents on quick little things about tests, projects, um, trips, those kinds of things, permission forms. Um, this is basically a message service, Remind, um, and it is incredibly easy, and I have never met a parent that doesn't like it. So you can sign up real easily. I already have a login, so I'll go ahead and log in, and then I'll go from there. All right, so once you're logged in, it um, brings you right over here to your dashboard, and um, it shows different things you can do. You can add people, you can make your message, you can create a class, you can do all those things. So what's really neat is that um, I think it's confusing if two, like a bunch of teachers have these and kids are signing up for lots of different ones. Maybe in high school that's fine, but in middle school we just create a team one and then students would get messages from all of us and we'd just say which subject it in. But you can create a class and send just messages to that class, so it's, it's pretty useful. Um, then there's just, first thing you have to do is get kids to sign up. So there's lots of things. Um, at Back to School Nights, you can hand out um, a PDF that walks people through it, and it literally will tell parents um, exactly how they need to sign up for your class. So it gives them the number here, and then the message, the specific message they need to send out, and the number they send it to. What's really cool about this is that you do not use your your phone number, you never even use your cell phone number to send out a message, you can use an app to send it out, but you can just use the website to do that as well. You don't have their number, um, and they don't have yours. It's beautiful. Um, so you get them to sign up, and the, they can't send messages to you either. So that's always the big question the parents have. Once I tell them all these things, no, 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 they're all over it. Um, so for example, um, I'll sign up with my phone right now, and I can go to mine, um, and I type in this little message here to 8101, or sorry, 81010. Okay, and then I type the message at stripe st. At stripe. ST. I send it, and it sends off, and it will take a second or so, and it sends a little message to you telling you that this thread is from the Stripes team. You can save this number to your contacts. Um, text at leave to leave all of this person's classes, so you can easily leave it, um, and it, you can tell them how to do that too. Um, so now you've joined the Stripes team. So reply to send a message to Stripes team. So, um, anyway, you come in here now, and if you can click on new message, and you send it to the class, and you say, this is a, what I'll say, you have a test tomorrow in social studies. All right, you can even add attachments. You can add study guides. Um, you can put a schedule. You can translate it to different languages. It's pretty amazing. But we send it off and don't want to send invitations to those people. But, um, and it pops up on your screen. You can't see mine, but it just sent me a text saying, you have a test tomorrow on social studies. Um, so, pretty darn cool. I guess they can reply to you, but it doesn't go to your phone. It goes to this service online. So it's pretty amazing. So obviously this is geared towards both students and parents. It's a wonderful communication tool, instantaneous. Uh, the first standard that stands out for Remind is the teachers, number three here, model digital age work and learning, the be here where you're collaborating with students, peers, parents, and community members using digital tools. Um, so it allows that communication, right? So you're your constant communication with them. And the other ISTE standard um, would be number four here, promoting the model digital citizenship with A, where you're just showing effective ways to um, use technology that everyone has access to. Um, some people might be critical of this and you know it could potentially limit those the haves and the have-nots, but 
I was first turned off by this in many app in many programs like it because a lot of times they require children to have smartphones, but that's not the case with this. This is just a text messaging service, nothing more, nothing less. So any phone can do this. So I have rarely come across a parent who doesn't have a cell phone. And for the most part, every kid has a cell phone. Let's get real. Most have smartphones. But I don't know many kids in my class currently that don't have a cell phone. Um, so it's a wonderful, wonderful tool.